Buenas noches. <laughs> Good evening, everyone, and a very warm welcome to the 2018-19 Turkish Airlines EuroLeague Award Ceremony. My name's Ronald McIntosh. I have the pleasure and privilege of being your host for this most special evening of award presentations. And I'm delighted to say that sharing the hosting duties is my encore partner for the night, Benny Bonsu. Good evening, Ronald, and good evening, everybody. Please allow me to welcome all the final four teams here. Andolas Efes, Fenerbahce Baco, Seske Moscow, and of course, Real Madrid and all the fans, welcome. Indeed, a very warm welcome to you all to beautiful Vittoria Gas Days, and a warm welcome as well to our television viewers tuning in from around the world, wherever you happen to be. Now, we've all been watching and enjoying the Turkish Airlines EuroLeague over many months, and today we'll be honoring the players who have delivered the most outstanding performances in helping their team with some spectacular plays. And Benny, longtime observers of the EuroLeague are saying that this has been the best season, the most thrilling season we've ever had. Definitely, it has been the most competitive Turkish airline EuroLeague season ever. And it is an honor to be here and have the chance to share the stage with the best players. But before we do that, let's relive some of the greatest moments this season has offered us. The bright and shiny new Turkish Airlines EuroLeague campaign gets underway. Round one of Turkish Airlines EuroLeague action. And the buzzer, Mike James! Oh, Mike James! Oh, my word! And look at Kapasa wants to do it again one more time. Oh, he did it again! He did it again! Are you kidding me? And goes to the bucket and gets it to go and is fouled in the process and send the fans into ecstasy. Kaleitas from way outside banks it in. McCarthy on the march. Bang. Oh my goodness! Real Madrid have stolen victory from the jaws of defeat. The defending champions block their ticket to Baskonia. Fenerbahce, Beko, Istanbul progress through to the final four. And on their way right back here to Victoria Gas Stage, it's Jessica Moscow. And Bass are going to Victoria! Amazing images, and the best is yet to come tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen. Indeed, a round of applause for what has been a terrific season so far. Now, as Benny said, it's a true honor to be here up on stage as we'll be getting as close as one can get to the brightest stars in a constellation of more than 200 amazing EuroLeague players. Tonight, we'll recognize outstanding individual performances by players who contributed greatly to their teams, achieving outstanding collective results. Their vote was just as close and as competitive as itself. There's no doubt that a jury of EuroLeague head coaches, the members of the media from around the world, and the most demanding voters of all, the fans. It was, it was a tough one for them to make the selection. Most certainly. Now, we have a long list of awards to be handed out this evening, including the best kept secret in the league, the Turkish Airlines EuroLeague season MVP. But before we start with the award presentations, I would like to invite onto stage the president and CEO of Bury League Basketball, Mr. Jordi Bertomeo, for a few words of welcome to our audience. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to our annual award ceremony. And welcome again to Vitoria Gasteiz, to Alaba, to Basque Country, a territory with an old history, a territory that for more than 20 centuries has defined a unique character forged on their tradition, their language, their gastronomy, and above all, forged on their determination. And 19 years constantly pursuing the final four is a good proof of it. But it's also a territory where basketball was consolidated many decades ago. And here in the city, its club, Asconia, have developed a visionary project that is an example not only for Basque Country, 
but also for Europe. And if there is someone in this club that represents this vision, is the man that for more than 30 years has been its president, Jose Ankerejeta. So now I will ask Jose to join me on the stage to receive a replica trophy to represent our gratitude, our, our um, recognition for your dedication to our club and to our European basketball. Jose. Again, our gratitude to the municipality of Italia Gasteiz, the Diputación de Alaba, the Basque um, country government. Thanks to them, we are here to celebrate a new Turkish Airlines League like final for edition, the real momentum for our fans. Euroleague like basketball is a fan-oriented organization, meaning that we listen to our fans, we pay attention to their opinions, to their demands, is our public, our consumers, and we have a commitment with them. And it's a commitment of excellence. And our clubs are trying to work hard every year to offer their fans a better experience. To reach this objective and to grow as a league, we count with two key factors. The first one are our partners. We cannot live without their support when we are witnessing how the sports consumption in general is changing. Young generations and technology are provoking a real revolution. And all the sports properties need to change our traditional way of working. And we need to take risks and offer our partners innovative solutions to make them effectively reach our funds is without a doubt the best and the most important change in the sports business. And in this complex context, we are lucky with our partners. We have forward-thinking partners that are always ready to explore, to test, to innovate, and with the only objective of offering the fans an unmatchable experience. Our broadcast partners that help us bring the excitement and the action in our arenas to the fans, no matter where they are, and our marketing partners who continuously have trust us as a great tool to connect with the basketball community, but especially with our title sponsor, Turkish Airlines, which we, have, we are going to start our 10 years of collaboration, and certainly the success and the growth of our competition and our league cannot be explained without the commitment, the permanent support, and the energy of Turkish Airlines. Turkish Airlines has been with us everywhere for the last nine years. They have taken us to many destinations around the world, contributing to a greater awareness of the beauty and quality of European basketball. And we are confident that this trip is not over yet. And the second element are our partners, our players. They are the center and the most important part of the sport, the main protagonist, and the ones that fans want to hear from and about. I believe Europe is privileged, is lucky to have this never-ending capacity to generate new talents that become new stars. But is therefore the dedication the professionalism of our players would make them stars. And today we are here with a selection of our best players. And I want to express my gratitude and admiration for your hard work, for your professional and human quality, that thanks to which EuroLeague is a reference in basketball worldwide. I thank them and all EuroLeague players for their commitment Commitment on the court, week in, week, week out, every game, but especially commitment of the court. 
for making themselves accessible to the funds, for staying close to their local communities, and inspiring young kids with your talent, your values, and your behavior. I have to admit that we have, we have demand much in the last few seasons, especially since we launched our European League. It has been challenging for everyone, but in particular for you. But now, working together with the Players' Union, we will solidify our league and we'll prepare it to grow and to address the future challenges. And therefore, to conclude, and on behalf of all our EuroLeague clubs, I would like to thank you all for your presence here today. I would like to congratulate in advance our awarded players and wish you all enjoy once again great games tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Bertomeo, for your words of welcome. So, Ron, I guess it's that time. Indeed. Let's focus on the awards now. It's been eight months it started. 256 games. Millions of fans watching and tirelessly supporting 16 teams in pursuit of their dreams. Um, today, with less than 24 hours to go to the climax of the season, the championship game tomorrow, it is time to celebrate the players who had the highest impact of their team performances. And joining us in this celebration, we'll have some very special guests indeed, all of whom you'll recognize to help us in handing out the award. So let's get this thing started. Let's do it. Let's begin with the award that recognizes what has been the best moment of the season. That one moment that the fans themselves chose as the most magical, the moment that will remain with us the rest of our lives. That, of course, is the seven days magic moment of the season. And I am delighted to welcome onto the stage a 2015 EuroLeague champion, that season's Final Four MVP, a former player who knows Vittorio Gasteiz very well indeed. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our Final Four ambassador, Andres Nocioni. Great to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Right here, sir. Let me help you do the present. That's right. That's fantastic. Thank you. So, Andrew, it's great to see you on stage, and thank you for helping us with this first award. And, ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the 2018-19 Seven Days Magic Moment of the Season Award is. And they stick around. The Falando as Blavard goes up top. And you know who does the rest. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner is Jan Vesely of Benebeche Vako, Istanbul. Congratulations. Jan, back to back, how does it feel to win it twice in a row? Um, thank you, thank you for, first of all, thank you for this, uh, this award. Um, I mean, uh, my personal game, you know, I, I try to play for, for the fans, you know, and the fans give me energy on the court, you know, to play and uh, to win it, you know, two times in a row, it's, it's great, you know, and also thank you for the fans and hopefully next year again. I was just going to say, the fans think you're magical, so what would be the last word you have to say to them before you go off the end of the season? I mean, keep supporting us. Um, unfortunately, yesterday we, we, we couldn't uh, perform as, as, as uh, we wished, but um, we have a lot of years, you know, uh, in front of us, and uh, I hope it's going to be better in the years to come. Thank you very much, Zian. Thank you. Please take a seat at the further seat, please. And thank you, Andreas, for helping us out. There you go, ladies first. <laughs> Now the next award goes to a player who, despite his young age, has shined on the court like a seasoned veteran, unleashing his immense potential to take his team to an entirely new level. The winner of this very special award not only has a bright future, but has made a big impact already this campaign. 
To present this award, I'd like to welcome onto the stage a coach who holds two EuroLeague titles among his endless list of amazing accomplishments, someone who needs no introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome EuroLeague basketball legend, Dusan Iskovic. Good evening. So, as voted by the Turkish Airlines EuroLeague head coaches, the 2018-19 Turkish Airlines EuroLeague Rising Star Trophy winner is... Nineteen-year-old Goga Bitadze of Budish Nose Voli Podgorica. Now you're following some big footsteps. What would you say to any young person out there aspiring to be you one day? First of all, thanks for this award. And I just want to say that uh, to the young kids out there that anything is possible. Uh, I wasn't expecting that I would even play EuroLeague and now getting this trophy, it's really amazing feeling for me and just anything is possible. What does it take to be Goka? I mean, nothing, just... Uh, just to stay me, stay focused, and just trying to focus on the game and focus on my work. Thank you very much. Please take a seat. And thank you, Coach, for joining us. Thank you so much. Thank you. Well, the EuroLeague is full of great scorers who can put the ball into the basket in the most difficult situations against the toughest defences. But very few could compare to the late Alfonso Ford, after whom our next award is named. And this season, scoring a total of 595 points, or 19.8 points per game, five more on average than any other EuroLeague player, the 2018-19 Turkish Airlines EuroLeague Alfonso Ford top scorer trophy goes to... Ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike James from AX Amani Exchange, Olympia Milan. But unfortunately, he couldn't join us today because he has domestic league commitments, but he left us a message. I just want to say thank you for winning the Alfonso Ford Top Scorer Trophy. Unfortunately, I couldn't be at the Final Four to accept this award, so I just want to say congrats to everybody else who won awards. And I also want to say thank you to my teammates, uh, the fans and the coaches for giving me the opportunity to win this award. Thank you. Thank you, Mike. Thank you for the message, Mike. Now, Mike is the type of player that all opposing coaches, players, and fans fear. But prolific scorers like Mike also have opponents that they are wary of, those who are specialists at protecting the basket against scorers who can fill it up like him. And this is exactly what our next awarded player is a master at. Players like him are always among the most coveted, those whom coaches want most on their teams. And it is precisely the EuroLeague head coaches who have voted for the best defender in this Turkish Airlines EuroLeague season. To deliver this award, I'd like to welcome up onto the stage another great defender, EuroLeague basketball legend, Mirsad Tarcan. So nice to meet you. Welcome, Mirsad. So, the coach's choice 
as the 2018-19 Turkish Airlines EuroLeague best defender is... It's Sergeant Swat, Walter Eddie Tavares of Real Madrid. Congratulations, my man. Great season. <laughs> Don't be nervous, it's going to be all right. <laughs> Eddie, you rank first in total blocks and seventh in defensive rebound. But beyond your stats, you're probably the most intimidating player in the EuroLeague. Maybe we should credit you for being, for being the... Sorry, let me do that again. So maybe we should credit you for all the shots that the opposing players are scared to take when you're on the court. What do you consider is the most important factor when playing good defense? I think the most important is to be focused in trying to play uh, the most ag aggressive I, I can on the court and to be, to be aware because uh, we know EuroLeague is, uh, is a fast league. We've got to be aware and trying to do my best every time. I've watched you all season. I watched you last night. You were really intimidating. For any young person at home watching you, what should they be working on to be like you? I don't know. I think we're working and everything. Like me, I'm too big. I got to work on my, on my quickness, on my speed, on my coordination. Um, the most important thing is to have instinct, and that's it. Thank you very much. Please take a seat, and thank you, Marcel, for joining us. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. And now it's time for the Fab Five of the 2018-19 Turkish Airline EuroLeague. Hundreds of media representatives and thousands of fans have casted their votes to form the unbeatable team, the perfect five players, and the, one, and the ones any fans would want on your team, or well, on my team anyway. But before that, before we meet them, let's relive some of the greatest moments that the 10 most voted players in the competition has given us this season. Great moments, and I'm sure that even more of them are in store for us tomorrow. For the 2018-19 All EuroLeague First Team Trophies presented by Seven Days, I'd like to invite up onto the stage two all-time greats who know all too well what this honor means. First of all, a three-time First Team selection and two-time EuroLeague champion is EuroLeague Basketball Ambassador Nikola Vucic. And joining him, another two-time champion, first team selection, and the 2006-2007 season MVP, Theo Papaloukas, EuroLeague basketball legend. Thank you very much indeed, gentlemen, for joining us. And the first player on the 2018-19 All EuroLeague first team is the sole honoree who's back from last season's first team, a player who's consistently guided his team to greater collective performances, a leader both on and off the court. The award goes to... And the winner is Nick Kalatas of Pan Panathinaikos. I always get it wrong, I'm really sorry. But unfortunately, Nick is not here, but he sent us a message. Uh, sorry I couldn't make it there. Um, I wish I was there with you guys today. Thank you for the 
the honor to be on first team all Euro League. Um, I'd like to thank my teammates, the coaches, and the club for um, putting me in this situation uh, to succeed. Uh, hopefully, as a team, we can do bigger things next year. And um, I wish everybody all the best uh, in the Final Four. Thanks for the message, Nick, as I know you'll be watching at home. Now, the next awarded player is another one who, similar to Nick, does everything well. He's a brilliant scorer. He led his team in both steals and rebound. An all-round athlete, a phenomenal player. He led his army back to the Final Four once again, and that is none other than... And the winner is Will Clyburn of Seska Moscow. Second season at Seska, you stood out amongst of your, you know, you stand out against all the team players that you have. But besides that, your talent of scoring, you led your team in steals and ranked third in rebounds in the Euro League. How do you manage to perform at such high level, offensively and defensively? Um, if you know our team, if you know the guys we have on our team, uh, practice is a battle, and you have guys like Nando, Chacho, Corey Higgins, Kyle Hines. They're competing at a high level for a while. So you have to compete against those guys every day. So I have no choice but to get better and perform at that type of level. How do you feel winning this accolades tonight? Uh, it feels great, um, especially the award for some, like I said, individual hard work, but the real goal is tomorrow. Thank you very much, Will. Please take a seat. Next up. A player who in only two seasons in the Turkish Airlines Euro League has led his team to unbelievable accomplishments while giving fans countless spectacular moments along the way. That player is... And the winner is Brendan Davis from Zagreb Kaunas. Brandon, the minute you stepped on the court, it was clear that you were here to make a major impact. Did you expect to gain of the, any of these accolades now? Um, I mean, first off, I have to say thank you. Um, this award is, means a lot. I'm honored and humbled. There's a lot of great players who um, could, could be up here as well. So um, first off, thanks for that. And, um, you know, honestly, it's when I first came to Zalgris, it was um, had a chat with um, our coach and just Every player he wants, he, want, he just wants people who are hungry and are willing to get better. So um, I take pride in doing that every single day, and good things happen when you work hard. Thank you very much. Please take a seat. The fourth All Euro League first team selection for the 2018 19 season is another all round player, not to mention one who, at just 29 years of age, already has three Euro League trophies under his belt. The fantastic floor general of another Final Four contender, that man is.
And the winner is Costas Slakas from Fenerbahce Baku, Istanbul. Luke Slukas. Congratulations. How did I do? You okay? <laughs> Congratulations. You have been an engine that's led for the Batches to perform the most victories in the EuroLeague season. What is the most important quality a player needs to direct at such a talented team? First of all, I want to thank for this award. It's very important for me. Uh, and be sure that uh, is an uh, opportunity for more work. I want to thank my teammates and my team also. Uh, if you ask me personal, uh, I'm always ambitious and uh, always motivated. But generally, I want to, want to talk about uh, team. Uh, secret is uh, trust between players, coaches, and uh, of course, club, and hard working. Thank you very much. Please take a seat. Thank you. And the last awarded player, ladies and gentlemen, is a usual suspect at this ceremony, already holding two all EuroLeague first team selections. He ranks among the leaders in just about every statistical category, and he is the undoubted cornerstone of his fantastic record setting team. That man is. And it goes to Jan Vesely of Panabache, Baku, Istanbul. Again, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Fans always love to watch players that deliver spectacular moments, and you probably are the master of that. But your performance goes behind, you know, beyond the highlights. And when you look at your stats, you have been performing at an unbelievable level for many years. What does it take for a player to stay consistent like you have? Uh, I think uh, it, it goes by age. <laughs> and, uh, you know, uh, we, we, we grow up and uh, we look at things differently. Uh, we come down in some things and uh, uh, like, I'm, so like I said last year, you know, uh, this trophy is also a team trophy because uh, it's a team sport and uh, I thank you for it and uh, I really know every time, every time I'm on the court and I'm trying to help the team as much as I can and uh, that's the reward. It sounds like you've had a great season, a fun season just playing. What, def what is it that your team has created that's making it such a fun environment to be in? Uh, like Costa said, you know, uh, it's, it's a trust between each other and, uh, you know, we are, we are also friends outside of the court and uh, I think that's uh, one of the, the most important things, you know, to, to succeed. Thank you very much. Please Thank join you. your teammates. Thank you, Nicola. Thank you, Nicola. Thank you, Theo. And there you have them, ladies and gentlemen, the best five players in the 2018-19 Turkish Airlines EuroLeague season. Please salute them and give them a generous round of applause. Congratulations to you all. What an incredible start in five. But what next, Ron? Most certainly. Well, we have the starting five, but who is the captain? Oh my God, I nearly I'm almost <laughs> forgot. Let's move on to the last award of the night and the most prestigious one, the MVP for the 2018-19 EuroLeague season. The time has come to announce who has been judged by the fans and the media as the most vulnerable to the team in his team 2018-19 season. The player who every general manager, coach and fan would love to see dressed in their colors of their team, the EuroLeague MVP. 
Indeed. Now to make this presentation, please welcome to the stage two-time EuroLeague champion, the all-time leader in points scored, a true icon in European basketball, Mr. La Bomba himself, Juan Carlos Navarro, a bona fide EuroLeague legend. Great to see you, man. Well, great to have you here with us, Juan Carlos, and you've given me the envelope which contains the all-important name. So, are we all ready? It is time then to end the intrigue. The MVP for the 2018-19 Turkish Airlines EuroLeague season is Jan Vesteli, Fenerbahce Beko, Istanbul. Deserve another round of applause for that. Thank you, Juan, for joining us. Please take your seat. Thank you. Congratulations again. Thank you. you <laughs> you've taken everything. How are you feeling today? I didn't take everything, but uh, <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm surprised, to be honest. So, what do you think? has made you this amazing, you know, amazing player this season because you've won three awards so far tonight. But then for any young person at home watching you, wanting to play in the EuroLeague, what advice would you give them right now? Um, what made this, uh, I would say, uh, my team and my teammates, uh, coaches and uh, of Fenerbahce, and because, uh, you know, I, I'm the kind of player that I don't create for myself. I need, I need my teammates, you know, uh, to create also for me and uh, I, I create for them. And I mean, really, I didn't believe in this. Um, I had a good season and, uh, and uh, I had an injury. So, so with this, you know, I didn't play the uh, end of the season as, as I would like. But, you know, it's it's a great thing, you know, and uh, all the, to all the kids, you know, the stay stay there for the hard work, and uh, keep going. On the end, I would like to thank uh, my wife. <laughs> I think she's the real MVP here for giving birth uh, to our son this season. So I think it's a good good present for him also. <laughs> so thank you. Congratulations again. Congratulations to all the winners from tonight. It's been an amazing night, Ron. It most certainly has. Congratulations indeed. And thank you all for these last eight months of the most incredible action. And of course, thank you to all of the fans that were watching and supporting these amazing athletes week in, week out. We're just about wrapping up the award ceremony here now tonight. And while the credits roll, I'm going to ask all of the award winners to make their way back out onto the stage with your hard-won trophies. I'd also like to invite onto the stage Mr. Jordi Bertomeo to pose for some images that can be captured for posterity. But for me, Ronald McIntosh, Benny Bonsu, and the rest of the team, thank you for staying with us. We hope you've enjoyed the award ceremony presentation. And it just remains for me to say congratulations once again and the best of luck to the teams competing in the championship game tomorrow. Thank you, everybody, and a very good night. <laughs>
Will, congratulations. Can you just sum up in words what it means to you to win this award? Uh, it means a lot. Uh, it always means something when uh, you're being recognized for your hard work and talent. Uh, but like I said, uh, it's an individual award, but like I said, you can't do it without the team. Um, what was different this season? What